Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 9 and I've got an awesome episode planned for you guys, but look what I found in the background. We're going to be raiding that today and it's going to be a lot of fun. But the question of the day for today, you're allowed to add one custom villager into Minecraft. This villager includes all of its trades, uh, its profession, its house, everything that comes with a villager. What do you add into the game and why? let me know down in the comment section below if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for when the videos come out guys let's get into the video all right guys so we're starting today's episode off by raiding the villager or i guess that would be called the pillager outpost sorry about that now i don't have a bow or anything so i was thinking what would be the easiest way to get into that so i made a shield <laughs> we're gonna go over here and try to fight these guys now i have never actually fought these guys in vanilla minecraft before so i'm not exactly sure what to expect but i think we're gonna figure that out pretty quickly quickly so we've got our first enemy right here I see another one over there another one right there so i think first and foremost let's let's try something real fast i'm gonna take all of my armor off and just see the damage that he's gonna do to me is he going to oh he's definitely going to attack me Okay, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. <laughs> okay, so it's basic. Kind of like a, an arrow. All right. Oh, you're dead, man. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, they don't drop their crossbows? That's lame. I was really, really hoping they would drop their crossbows. So let's eliminate all of our enemies here. Now, I'm wondering... I'm wondering... Let me put this in my offhand. I'm wondering if they will... Oh, he shot himself. There we go. I was kind of hoping... I know you could probably craft a crossbow, but it would be so cool if they dropped one. Oh, they did drop one. So I'm assuming that you probably need arrows for this. Because I don't... I can't... I can't cock it. Okay. So let's put my shield back on here. They're not really doing... Oh, there's a lot of them. They're not really doing a lot of damage to me because I have really good armor. Um, why does this guy have a big banner on his face for? Uh, voluntary exile. We're going to have to see what that means. Let me kill this guy real fast. Heckin' Puppo right over there. He killed his sheepers. Okay. Okay, so I think we've got a lot of them gone now. What I don't want to do is hurt that dog. Now, are they going to keep spawning? Or is it just all the ones that are here? Okay, what does that mean? Bad omen. Uh, Omnius, Omnius banner. The uh, kill a raid captain. Maybe consider staying for a while. Uh, okay, or maybe consider staying away from villages for the time being. Huh. So I killed the raid captain. I want to get inside of there. Otherwise, I feel like we're probably going to keep having to fight these guys for a while. So let's get moving. Is there an actual entrance? Okay, this doesn't seem so bad. This is kind of a cool house. We could totally live here. <laughs> we should. That would be amazing. All right. I like the design of it. All right. So what do we got for loot here? We got another crossbow. We got an iron ingot, two iron ingots, some wood, some carrots, uh, a bottle of enchanting, some wheat and some string. Interesting. Now, what does the I don't know what this bad omen means. So if I take that out of my inventory, does that mean that that goes away or do I need to leave for a while? I'm keeping this with me. I earned that. That's mine. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to have to figure out is like one of the one things I like about playing the newer updates is that you learn sort of how things work. And I think that's one thing that's going to we're going to learn how to do. Now, if I just run, will they follow? Like how far away will they run away from their their plot there? Let's go way over here. Are they following? Not really. So they definitely, definitely have a boundary. All right. So I think this thing has got the bad enchanting stuff on it. Let's put that down and see if my omen goes away. 
I don't know if that, I'm gonna have to learn how that works. Um, I've been watching all our Cubs videos, learning how this stuff works. That's crazy. All right, so I think we should probably head over to the village now. Okay, guys, so before I head over and do more work on today's episode, I've got bad omens still. Now, I was reading about this, and anytime you enter the proximity of a village, bad omen, that's a torch. Why is there a torch over here? Oh, maybe that's lava. Sorry. Anyways, bad omen will cause that village to have a raid. Now, I'm glad that I read about this first. I got milk to remove it, but I'm glad I read about it because I want to see how it works. First off, is it going to work if I'm on a horse? So let's just get in. Oh, there we go. So we just made it to where there was a raid on the village. Oh, that's crazy. Uh oh, uh oh, what's happening? I have no idea what's happening. So there's a raid going down now. I don't see any bad guys though. Do they take time to get here? I don't see anything. I see an iron. I see two iron golems. Well, there's a bad guy. Okay, so let's um, let's get to it. Oh, the, the iron golem is doing work. Oh my God. That's crazy. I see. So as you kill more and more of the pillagers, uh, I haven't seen one of those ram things yet, though. I don't see any other ones. Let's get on our noble steed here and see if we can find some more baddies. I don't see any more. There must not be very many. The iron golems definitely seem to know where they're at, though. Let's try up here. So kill that guy. Oh, yeah, the, the thing is going down really fast. We are learning about raids firsthand, guys. Raid member remaining. There we go. Okay, so we removed all the raid, but now the bar is going back up. Why is the bar going back up for? Um. Oh, my horse might actually die. I'd be a little bit careful here. I'm going to put my horse up here. There we go. Okay, so we got to figure out why the bar is going back up. I'm going to let it do its own thing. Does that mean that um, more mobs are coming? Slowness is killing me, bro. Maybe we should try and sleep real fast. Oh, 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 oh my God. Let's go for this thing. Oh my God, that thing is massive. Oh, oh God. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. He's really not that strong. He must have a lot of health. I got to eat. Oh, I killed it. Okay. I got a saddle. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Oh, kill him. Two remaining. They must be up here somewhere. Where are they at? So does, I, does the witch count as one? Okay, well, the villagers are back out now. How do you... There must just be different levels to the raid then. Because they come from all... It looks like they come from all the different sides. Huh. They're definitely hitting that... Oh, no, they keep coming from the side over here. So there just must be different levels of the raid then.
I found him. He was just hiding. He was just hiding. So I think, oh, Hero of the Village challenge complete. So we now have a raid victory. So what does Hero of the Village mean? Hero of the Village means uh, successfully defend a village from a raid. Okay, so now do these guys have like a better trade for me then or something? Do you, can I trade with you, sir? Uh, okay, well, it seems discounted. That's pretty cool. Huh, neat. Are you setting off fireworks, man? Or is it just the other guy? So he's got a discounted rate. S sticks for emeralds. Wow, that's really, really cheap. <laughs> okay. That was the one guy. Let's go see if we can find some other trades. Now, now I'm curious, right? Um, I've got that effect. Oh, okay. Well, I guess as long as I don't drink milk, I'll be okay. So I wonder if it's only for this village. I'm assuming so. Um, let me go grab my horse real fast and we'll see. Man, that was so much fun. Oh my God. All right. Is there any other villagers around here? Sticks for emeralds is a crazy trade, though. All right. So, um, if we go over the hill here and go this way, this leads to our, um, to our other uh, village that we were just at earlier, right? And, um, Okay, well, I'm still out. I'm out of the village range now, and I still have hero. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head to our village now, and I'll be back. Guys, they just keep giving me stuff. I'm standing here, right? Next thing you know, I'm getting lapis. I got a cookie. <laughs> Are you going to give me anything else? Sir, hello. Hello. Can I have free stuff? Please? Please. Oh, nope. I got redstone that time. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, guys. So the next part of today's video, we are going to start planning out our fence. So we're going to build one section of the fence and it's going to uh, be kind of a modular thing. So what we're going to build is um, let me actually go grab a few more blocks here. I made uh, a bunch of stone brick. I had to go mine a bunch of stone, hence the low durability of my pickaxe. There we go. Um, so the way I'm thinking about doing this is making it modular by five. So we'll have, I want to make it probably three wide, something like this, I think. So let's do this. So let's go three wide and four tall. Now I want to have a walkway through this. So I'm going to do the middle pillar over five blocks. So one, two, three, four. Hmm, do, I don't know if I want to make it five or seven. We may want to make it seven because, yeah, I think we're going to make it seven. So one, two, three, four, five, and then seven. So then we would have this come up right here. Hold on, my I have my sound jacked up because I typically record with my sound um, at 100%. So something like that, I think. And then we'll have this come over. All right, I really like that. So we'll be able to get on top of there and walk around. Um, so let's figure out this corner part right here. So what I'm thinking about doing is, well, first and foremost, the fence is gonna sit inside of there. So let's get rid of that. Now we gotta decide where we want the fence to go. So I'm gonna put a block there and a block here i think that's a little bit too low let's maybe get rid of this and put a fence there and get rid of this and put a fence there do i like that instead kind of like that instead now i'll most likely um whatever we do i'll most likely put out here now the reason why i wanted to make it so big so I don't really like that too much. I wanted to have it a little bit smaller or a little bit more open. So maybe just this actually put a fence there, put a fence there. I actually like that a lot better. Now we can put a bit of detail in. 
so we can do this on the insides and the outsides. So crafting table, let's make some stone brick stairs. Bunch of those, and then let's make some slabs. So I'm thinking stairs there. That actually doesn't look all that bad. All right, let's do uh, some detail on the top side. So remember, we're just going to have a one wide pathway that will allow us to walk around this. There we go. And then we could do slabs like this to make it sort of like a castle feel because I want this to sort of be a village, but I also kind of want it to be a keep. If that, I don't know if that's what the keeps are called or not to get rid of that. Now, I do like the way that that looks, but it would be better if we were to put some more detail in there. So maybe put some stairs in there. Yeah, that actually looks really good. Um, for the corners, uh, we could pretty much do whatever we want. We could do a bigger version of this. What about, um, what about this instead? Uh, it's kind of the same thing. Okay. Not bad. And one other thing that I wanted to do was underneath of the fencing. I want to put in cobblestone, kind of give it a real kind of gritty look. Something like that, I think. That turned out really well, actually. So now, now that we have a design made, I want to go around the village with some spacing and kind of plot our wall out. The only other thing that we really need to figure out is the corners. Um, but the corners should be pretty simple to do because I think it's just gonna probably be maybe a five by five. How did you get out, buddy? Oh, he probably jumped over. He's still giving me food. <laughs> I'll have to corral all the men, but I'm thinking for the corners, we could just do something like this. And then two, three, four, five. And then have sort of uh, walls going straight up, right? So like have it like more of a lookout tower. We may even want to raise the height of the corner a little bit to have where you have to walk upstairs to get it. Um, but yeah, we'll work on that in just a minute. I want to go ahead and get this plotted. Okay, guys. Oh my God, that took forever. So I want to show you what I got done real fast. Ooh, see, I might want to grab some more fences. Some of our fences, uh, some of the villagers are probably going to escape because I how, how I have this set up. Actually, you know what I might do? I don't really have any more fences left over. What I think I'm going to do is just grab some blocks and block this off. That's not a bad idea. I should have did that before. I didn't even think of that. All right, let me close this up real fast so no more villagers can escape. I'll try to get this guy uh, back in there later as well. Um, okay, so what did I finish? I've got the entire outside perimeter plotted. So this is what our castle uh, or village walls are gonna look like. Right, let me adjust my sound again. Typically when I'm not recording, I have my sound at 100% like I had mentioned previously and it gets really loud because I use earbuds. So, all right, go up a bunch here. So you can see that I've done a little tower on the corner and then that is a five by five box. This is three by seven. So it goes, the five is the middle, the two is the ends, no problem. And this goes all the way around. So if I were to bridge over, go here. Um, so corner and then we'll follow the entire thing. Now, um, one thing I want to quickly show you is we're going to probably do something special with the water there. Um, I've got to get a ton of material to finish this, though. So it comes all the way down and around. And I'm thinking of maybe using this area <clears throat> Excuse me. This area up here is the entrance to the village. I'm not sure yet, though. So, so it goes all the way around, like so, all the way down to here. Now, to plot this out, all I'm doing is placing a block that counts as the wall between the fences. Um, then we're using five fences, wall, five fences, wall, etc., etc. Now, the cool thing I think you guys are really gonna like is that when it comes down over here, there's a ravine right here. So I've got the wall of the village going into the ravine 
which would be really really cool um that's gonna be like a really cool kind of feature i think and then it goes all the way around up here and we're gonna have to do a bit of terraforming path building things like that but i think it's gonna turn out to look really really good um another thing that i've already noticed is that the villagers are breeding like crazy oh we got a trading we got a huh interesting it's tied to the corner weird i don't know what they're doing oh another thing is my hero of the village is gone i noticed that too they're not giving me items anymore trades look like they're normal again wait was that potatoes oh yeah anywho so that is going to be the outside border uh i want to get this village up and running pretty quickly because i want to test it against the raid and kind of see where it gets us so guys i think that's probably going to take care of today's video now i know we didn't get a ton done but that raid took up a lot of time i'm definitely going to have to make these episodes longer i think so if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications for the videos come out, guys. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.